So the clamps are removed and now it gets put on the bench and a scalpel comes around, nice and simple, and simply cuts away the veneer. Do -do -do -do. Now it's time to mark the dots on the neck and this is a part where you have to be very careful. What I do is I use an awl which I've sharpened specially and then I simply when I have my awl in exactly the right spot press down I make a guide hole and this will become the guide hole when I drill in with the egg beater drill. Here are our dots sitting here waiting to be done. So now it's time to use the egg beater drill. I've got my old holes and I sit my two millimeter drill or thereabouts in the hole and drill down. So super glue hammer and inlay. Let's put some super glue in our hole. Take our little inlay, put it into position. Come on, in you go. Then just pop it in. And here are the dots awaiting sanding. And there we are. All done. And now the holes for the tuners are old and they will be drilled. So here we have a bit and a brace. And down we go. The holes have been drilled from the back using a 6mm bit and then coming from the top using just over an 8mm bit. The reason why the holes have to be different diameters is that if you make the holes the same diameter then the ferrules and the shafts won't work properly. The ferrules will sit well but the shafts will move too much. Here's a quick line up test just checking that all the buttons align they're just sitting in the holes with the washers on top but they're basically all spaced correctly they're Waverly tuners with Ivoroid knobs by the way now it's time for some gluing the joint is prepared I put masking tape around so that if there's uh, squeeze out and I hope there will be lots um, it won't go into the wood it'll go onto the tape I've put the call already onto the neck, I've put the call already onto the back, 
I've got my clamps set to the right distance and I've done a couple of practice clamps. I've got my glue brush. Basically, I'm ready to go. I put in my glue, I put in my neck, I tighten my clamps, I leave it overnight. So this is a very exciting part because, of course, this is the joining. This is when it all becomes one instrument. Um, here's the headstock. I've actually got the bushings installed for the tuners. Um, they'll come out before it's all painted, but they're just in there now so that I can do a string up once it's all together. The neck's basically shaped, so really we're very close to the end. Okay, glue pot. Again, I'm using hot hide glue. And the reason why I'm using hot hide glue is that it's supposed to have superior tonal qualities and all of that stuff. And, you know, why not use it? I've got it. Give it a go. It's good stuff. Okay, let's just slop a whole bunch in here. There we go, everything's well coated, everything's ready, hot high glue, good to go, glue, brush, neck goes in, ah. and push down, okay, now, let's clamp this puppy up. And there, clamped up, is our guitar. All right, it's the next day and the clamps are off. And it looks like we've got a good, solid neck joint. <sighs> Lovely stuff. So now, it's a process of cleaning up, finishing a few things, and we're good to go. The first thing I'm going to do is plane down this little angle here. I'll just take that off with a block plane, but first I'll mask off here so that I um, can be careful not to scratch into my beautiful clean top. I'm getting the initial glue off with my block plane, but what I'm going to do in a little while is I'm going to switch to a red bait block plane so that I can get right up to the neck. The reason I'm using an ordinary block plane first is that my rebate block plane is a is a, um, a very nice Lee Nielsen, and the glue can blunt plane blades and damage them a bit. And I know it's kind of a lazy thing to say, but actually the blade on my Lee Nielsen was sharpened by someone else who did a very very nice job. And Partly because it's just such a good edge, and partly for sentimental reasons, I'd like to preserve the edge on that plane for as long as I possibly can. So, right now, I'm using the block plane for, I guess, what one could describe as the dog work. Here we are. A nice, tight, flat joint with our body. We have basically a guitar. In fact, if I drill the bridge holes in this, um, it would become a playable instrument, uh, which is a nice thought. <laughs> 